Thor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go? Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Torrent Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs, but your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. Ati, this is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> hey, uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box holy rain. Just thinking about it makes my dad's mood wagon. <laughs> Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Tor had abandoned everything.
Another one of those lunch boxes. Is old, very old. I the should government interrupt built him. a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what. Need to find the key. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case before my family gets dragged any further into it. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. 
We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy, but we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years, but we already have our band, and those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice.
This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. as a young girl. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. They figured she just went home when Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning. They called the police. Getting in is forbidden for your own safety. Time is long for those who wait, but in the end, stand the tanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Need to find the key. Searched the bunker and, and found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. She had a real talent for music. <laughs> Folks say they, they still hear her singing in the nursing home. Nowadays, teens think the bunker is Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? It's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. What's in the wellness center? Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only Prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, 
old gods of Asgard, my pals, the Birkele Vikings. Birkele. Were you in the band? Minäkö? No, no. Birkele, saatana, en olven. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Do you know where I could find Tor Anderson? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can't know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. I need bolt cutters. I don't have the key. I'm gonna do something about these leaky roofs. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only.
Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Odin said Tor needs help, but from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Be ready, Saga. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. No. 
Tor left the wellness center. Tor is being targeted. He needs help. Saga had lost count of how many shots she'd fired, but she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And yet, she'd not run out of ammo, as if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets. She fired again. Door needs a knob. A security computer. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. The computer controlled the door that Tor went through. And the doors are open. There's Tor. 
he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. Need to catch up with Tor. This must have been Tor's. I need bolt cutters.
can't be opened on this side. Tor was here. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Rose. Um. Wake has returned. Oh. 
My God. You're the hero. You're here to save Alan. Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torridale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize. To your mother, Freya, and to you. Tor's like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. No good without power. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has called. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, but I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man. And he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. <laughs>
I can't open this with my bare hands. I need to get the power back on. Key fob's no good without power. Fuse is blown. Maybe there are spares nearby. Must be locked from the other side. It won't open.
the power's off. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Fuse could come in handy. There. Power's back on. Is this something they watch on movie night? just like Casey. What the hell is going on?
Angus remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Angus' remorse now? Giddy is a young girl in love. A broken roll twigs it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus' remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room. 
in her bathtub. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Zane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Tub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. about the dark presence i feel like i'm missing some context here i'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not cynthia's favorite tor's a romantic huh Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Anger's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Oh. 
first and will be anxious. <laughs> The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, can't whip up my soul. My face forever, seeking to be whole. The overlap is on the pond. This isn't real. Help me. Fuck this place. No power. Can't use the switch. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? She's here.
A dead end. Here again. <sighs> Locked. The key has to be nearby.
back again. Gotta go deeper. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Saga! It's so damn dark down here. I'm underwater! She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I heard this coming. We're starting to creep in. There must be a way to get the power back on. under the water.
Tor. Hold on! to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. A goddamn thing. <sighs> Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. Yeah. <laughs> 
Fuck! I can't see a goddamn thing! <sighs> Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself! I'm getting you the hell out of here! Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. Change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. Tor! Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> Forever seeking to be whole. 
driven by passion, rage, and like a storm, with thunder and lightning, and the hubris I was born. Blood.